Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand the practical use of at the rate API decorator in LWC. But before getting started, if you like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So what we are going to do is in this video, we are going to understand when do we use at the rate API decorator and in what use case usually we go and use the at the rate API decorator in LWC and what exactly it does in LWC. So let's say I have a parent component, right? Let's name it as P. Okay. And I have a child component. Let's name it as C. Now let's say if I want to pass the data from the parent to the child, that's where we use at the rate API decorator. Right. So <clears throat> if I have to pass the data from the parent component to the child component, that's where we are going to use at the rate API decorator. So in, in simple terms, what we are going to do is we are going to create a variable inside the child component, which will be able to accept the data from the parent component. Now, in order to accept the data from the parent component, the variable that we are going to create will be with at the rate API decorator. So let's understand in simple terms in LWC right now. I have a child component. I'll open the JS form as well. And also I have a parent component. Now what I have to do is from the parent component, I have to pass the data to the child component. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do now in order to uh, define which is a parent, which is a child. If I call this child component, inside this component this means parent uh, the parent component is the parent uh, like for an example if i'm going to call this component in order to call the comp uh, any component you can you see and whatever the name of the component is c dot child again component that's it this is how you call a another component so for an example i'm calling the child component inside the parent component so as this component is calling the another component let's call it as a component and b component as a component is calling the b component or a component is has the b component embedded inside it hence a component is considered as a parent one right so within this parent there is a child component that's why uh, this component that i am right now on can be considered as a parent component so in order if i have to pass the data from this parent component to the child component first i have to call the child component first okay now what whatever data i have to pass let's uh, i'm going to create a variable let's say data passed let's say i'm going to create a variable uh, please subscribe to salesforce in five minutes <clears throat> yeah so i have created a variable i'm going to pass this variable from the parent to the child now in order that the child should be able to accept some kind of value. Okay. If I want child should be able to accept certain kind of value. That's where I go and create an at the rate API decorator. Okay. I'm going to create an at the rate API decorator. Get data. Let's name it as get data and semicolon and the same data I'm going to print print on the HTML part of the parent component so child component sorry so please consider and let's name it at whatever it is so now as soon as i declare a variable with at the rate api decorator what's going to happen is that it's going to be it, this variable is now publicly available to all the lwc component and the flows and the aura components now any component can pass the value to this variable any component it can be flow it can be aura component it can be uh, even the lwc component any component will be able to pass the value to this variable as soon as you declare it at the rate api it's globally available okay till the point if you do not this variable is not globally available but this is available any any uh, component or any uh, flow or a component or anything can pass the data to this variable now in order to pass this variable data to the variable, what we can do is inside the parent component, we are already calling the child component. So all we are going to do is we are going to use this get data. And as in LWC, we are using kebab case and there should not be any uh, capital letters in the 
parameters uh, i am going to use this as get hyphen data and now i'm going to pass data that whatever i want so for an example hello i'm going to pass right now right so what's going to happen is i'm going to embed this parent component inside my uh, uh, inside my page so first let's go i will embed this parent component inside the page Right, so I have this parent component available. I'm embedding it over, let's say, over at the top. Okay, I've embedded it and saved it. Now let's refresh it. What's actually happening is I've embedded the parent component, right? So this means my parent component is embedded. So as soon as the parent component is embedded, it's going to go and call the child component as well. And inside this child component, there is a variable called as get data. Now this data where I am passing the value as hello, right? Inside this variable, I am passing the value as hello. As soon as I am passing the value as hello, so what's happening is inside the HTML, this get data is actually getting populated as hello from the parent itself. So that's why it's showing please consider and hello at the screen itself. As you can see, it's showing please consider and hello along with it. So now this is how you pass the value but if you want to pass a particular variable from the parent to the child what i can do is i can just use this data passed which is my parent components variable i can directly pass this variable to the child's component variable so if i refresh it now So as you can see please consider please subscribe to the channel salesforce in five minutes so that's what is coming from over here please subscribe to salesforce in five minutes so what again actually is happening is uh basically i've embedded the parent component parent component whenever it loads it is also calling the child component now inside the child component we have a variable named as get data right we have a variable named as get data inside this variable i am passing the parent components variable that is data passed over here and as soon as i am passing this variable uh, my child component is also getting loaded as soon as the parent is getting loaded and as soon as it is getting loaded this get data, get data variable is getting populated from the parent component and it is showing on the screen at the same time now as uh, if i want to pass certain kind of uh, uh, if i want to pass a value to a certain kind of a variable uh, in lwc that's where i use at the rate api decorator if I did not have that at the rate API decorator, I would not be able to populate this kind of value. I won't, I won't be able to pass this kind of value. So if I want uh, this variable, that is get data variable to be publicly, publicly available to all the components that I have, like aura component flows or anyone, I have to declare it as at the rate API. So now it is accessible to all other components as well. So I, I was able to access this variable. I was able to pass the value to this variable inside parent component as well. So this is what the practical use of at the rate API decorator is. At the rate API decorator is also used to pass the record ID from the aura component to the LWC component. And also sometimes it's used to pass the values from the flows to the LWC component. So, but this is how you use at the rate API decorator in LWC. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please subscribe to this channel.